mosaic artist here in Denver, Colorado. Today I will give you a virtual tour of my art studio, which is located in the Santa Fe Arts District. Currently, the main focus in my artwork are large-scale landscape mosaics that are inspired by my travels throughout the United States. Each mosaic starts with a hike that I planned. Uh, for instance, this piece here is Cascade Canyon Paintbrush Canyon in the Teton Mountains in Wyoming. I went on a backpacking trip there and I took a bunch of photos and then when I got back home, I did a series of sketches to work out my project. I start with a pencil sketch just to um, work out my composition. Then I follow that up with a larger color sketch to work out my color palette. And then, uh, once I'm happy with all the details, I will blow it up to the size that I want the mosaic to be. Um, here you can see this uh, blown up sketch is 2 feet by 4 feet, which is the size of this finished mosaic. Um, another example of the side is um, this piece that's inspired by a trip to the Mount Hood region in Oregon, where I spent a few days camping. And uh, my favorite view was um, a sunset at Trillium Lake. You can see I tried to closely base the mosaic off of my photo. On this workbench here, you can see one of my projects in its early stages. All of the glass in this project, as well as um, all the glass in my other work, is completely hand cut by me using just these four basic hand tools, um, which actually, if you live in Colorado, you can learn how to use these tools by attending one of my in-studio workshops um, where the students create one of these beautiful flowers that are custom framed. And in a class like that, we cover the whole process from start to finish. Uh, a complete beginner can learn how to cut glass, glue and grout all in a weekend. Here you can see over 20 colors that my students get to choose from in each class. And in this corner you can see one of my most detailed pieces uh, inspired by a trip to Glacier National Park. And then right next to it you can see two smaller pieces that are inspired by the Teton Mountains. Over here you can see a very different piece. Um, it is based on Hans Christian Andersen's fairy tale of the little matchgirl. Um, I actually did a painting um, first, and then I built my mosaic um, according to the painting, uh, which is one of the reasons that the piece is much more fluid and organic, and I think that it has a more complex color palette because of that. Um, this piece uh, shows my interest in more imaginary work um, based on fairy tales and stories. And then if you look over to the other side, you can see more simple uh, work that's based on uh, my interest in sacred geometry and repetitive shapes in mosaics. Um, the piece on the bottom, um, a nautilus, is um, actually you can see um, me working on a similar piece in another video um, on my YouTube channel. In this nook, you can see a couple more landscapes. One right behind me and another one off to the side. Both of these pieces further show my love of nature, mountains and patterns. And then if you look further to the side here, you can see a wall of photographs. Um, this is a recent collaboration with my partner Kyle Kniff. Um, we both took, took all of those photos all across the country and we hand printed all of them. Um, this was in 2015 that we traveled all over the country while teaching pop-up mosaic classes in over 20 states. This Matryoshka doll is another collaborative project with my partner Kyle. He sculpted the doll while I created the stained glass mosaic that decorates her. And off here to the side is a barn owl that I created and then um, Kyle and I inset her into a birch plywood that he stained and finished to match the stained glass. So as you might have noticed, uh, my studio is actually in a lift work loft. Uh, so this is my kitchen 
and uh, because I have so much artwork here, I have to try to utilize all of my wall space. So here you can see another one of my landscapes. It's inspired by the time that I lived in beautiful Vermont. And then if you look up here, um, that's a piece that's inspired by um, where I currently live, which is uh, Colorado. You might have uh, noticed uh, me mentioning Kyle a few times uh, throughout the video and uh, Kyle is uh, my collaborative partner and we share the studio space. He often helps me with my classes and um, we collaborate on sculptures and um, photo projects uh, but I also get to enjoy watching him create his own work in the studio uh, such as uh, these two watercolor paintings seen here. smaller landscapes as well as a few other pieces that are more abstract and are inspired by patterns found in nature. I am holding one of my uh, stained glass mosaic owl designs that I designed for uh, my two-day workshop and then behind me up to the left are designs for the two-day flower mandala class and then on this side are some slightly simpler designs for the one-day class. If you'd like to learn more about my classes, please visit my website, kashamosaics.com. Thank you for watching, and do visit my studio if you're ever in the Denver metro area.